so we are going to create a beautiful weather forecast app but first i will i will create a very simple basic hello world app in this app uh, i will just start the android studio create new app button and will run into android virtual device just to see if every if we have everything ready it pro it will prove that uh, we we can start working on creating the app the weather forecast app uh, this is the screenshot i have here uh, we will display current weather uh, we will enter a city name in the code and the weather we will get the weather data from a website when from a server and we'll display it in our uh, app i will also discuss uh, about uh, various components of android app first we will create a user interface and then i will show you how to get data from a server and then update the data uh, into the interface So to create this app, uh, you need some basic Java programming language knowledge. You need Android Studio. This is the IDE. Uh, you can download it from an uh, Android website. You need Android virtual device, or if you have a uh, Android headset, you can plug it into your computer and uh, run it and test in your device in the runtime. And you will also have an you will also need an account in openweatherapi.org. This is the website where you can get free weather data by requesting some uh, requesting in their website, and they will return some uh, response. I will discuss more in the next slide. Optionally, uh, you need an app. It's called Postman. Uh, there we can test the server communication and we will discuss how various uh, parts of the response so that uh, you understand which one we need for the app we first need android studio so this is the ide where we will create the code we will write the code we will debug it and test the software so uh, let's uh, discuss what are the components as you can see in the right side this is the main section where you will write your code left side displays all your uh, file structures um, this is the folder where all our java related coding will go there the res folder here is all the uh, images layouts and various values will uh, will be there these are few uh, several uh, configuration files we will need uh, one file uh, for this uh, app i will discuss it more the bottom section here is where uh, all the output you will see the output if if there is any error we will see it here so um in this in this tutorial what i'm going to do i will create a app i will write the code line by line and hit run and i will show you what the error messages you will see and what the what's the meaning and how to fix them so i will cover those we will also need a, a virtual device i will, uh, i already have set up in my android uh, android studio uh, this is exact same android app android uh, os it will run in an emulator and we will show it, we will see it in the screen To get the data, we, we are uh, we are using openweathermap.org API. Here uh, we need uh, after you sign up, they will give you a key. Uh, this key is to authorize and to get data from the server. To get the data, you need this uh, URL. This is the URL. They you will find it in their website. Uh, I can break it down for you. Here in the query section, I'm entering uh, the city name, and in app ID section, I will enter my API API key, and the server will return me uh, a JSON data. This is called JSON format. Um, so in this data, we 
we, we need the temperature value for displaying the weather information. Uh, initially, this they sends the data in Kelvin format, but I will show you how to uh, get the data in Celsius or Fahrenheit format. So these are, this is the step uh, from the app, we will send the API request using the URL, the server, it will uh, process it and will re return the information in JSON format. And then we will parse the JSON file and parse the uh, response and we'll get the exact, exactly what we need. Uh, we will get uh, three, four values from here to create a nice interface like this. So in the this is the Android app we are going to create. Uh, the main there are two parts here. One is uh, these are text text view. These are called text view where you can display whatever text you want. And in the right side, um, this is the image we will display. Uh, to uh, when there is a sunny weather, we will display a, uh, image. When there is a rain, we will display another image. So we'll do this by image view. So let's create the app and see how everything works. After everything the app is done, I will uh, discuss more about what are the different uh, sections of Android.